Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Brantley. I own Brantley Babes and I love to do crafting, especially if it involves sublimation. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I sublimate a stainless steel reusable tumbler using a convection oven. So let's get started. The supplies you're going to need are a sublimation tumbler. These have a special polyester coating on them specifically for sublimation. You can't just grab any tumbler and use it you need a sublimation specific tumbler. Some heat gloves, a shrink wrap sleeve, your transfer, heat resistant tape, and a heat gun. I'll leave links in the description below to where you can get some of these supplies if you're needing them, as well as what I print my transfers at, what size I print them. Okay, while I do this part, I have my oven heating up I have it set at 400 degrees on the bake slash roast option. I have a Rose Wheel Home convection oven. Um, again, I'll drop helpful links and the dimensions of my transfer in the description below. This is a 20 ounce tumbler, and we're gonna take our transfer and line our cup up on our transfer. Make sure that the top of your, the top of your design is at the top of your cup. A lot of people do these upside down on accident. Just be mindful of how you're putting the transfer on. You're gonna wrap your transfer around your cup. Make sure your bottom is lined up on the bottom. Your top is lined up on the top. You're gonna line your seam up to the best you can. On this particular design, I have a black strap on the bottom and then I have a pink strap on the top. And I'm just gonna, I can kind of see that through the paper here and I'm just gonna line that up. Once I have that lined up where I want it to be, I am going to bump the camera apparently. Sorry about that. Let's see if we can get you stabilized. There we go. Okay, and now that I have that how I want it lined up, it's not wanting to. Okay, now that I really have it how I want it, I'm going to pull my transfer as tight as I possibly can. I'm going to push this one under and I'm going to pull this one over. And I'm going to take a piece of that heat tape and I'm just going to tape it down right there. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing all the way up here. Push and pull super tight, as tight as you can get it, and tape it down. I like to do this in four different spots on my seam. Push and pull. Super, super tight. Pressure is very important with sublimation. And this will keep your design from fading or ghosting in any spots. So there we have it taped. I can make sure that I have it lined up at the bottom here. So I can give you guys a better angle. I'm going to. Okay, now I'm going to do the top, except for this piece. I'm not going to wrap around to the inside of my cup. I'm just going to keep it on the transfer itself. And same thing, I'm going to start with this part of the transfer to where I'm pulling with it instead of against it. I'm going to pull it tight, push it down, pull it tight. Try to get as close to that lip as I can without going over. And now we're ready for our shrink wrap. We're going to take our shrink wrap sleeve again. I have seen in the past where some people have just gone to their hardware store and got a some shrink wrap and it didn't work. I purchased mine from the same place that I get my tumblers. Um, you can find that link in the description below. I haven't ever used any other shrink wrap, so I'm just going to push that on there, get it to the middle of your tumbler, and then you're going to take your heat gun. Your heat gun can be super, super hot. The first time I used one, I did not realize that this part of it gets really hot. Um, so just be mindful of that if you haven't ever used a heat gun before because it will burn you really bad. So now we're going to plug our heat gun in and I have a, whatever brand that is, I got it from Harbor Freight. Um, I leave mine on a six and then I turn it all the way up when using. I put my hand inside the cup to keep from getting my hand hot 
and I like to leave more slack at the bottom than at the top because I want to be able to stick my hand in there once the shrink wrap is over it and as you can see I don't want it to cover the whole opening. You just want to move your heat gun around to where it shrinks. You can see that shrink wrap forming to the tumbler. And you do that all the way around the tumbler. So before we put our cup in the oven, I just wanted to make a couple of suggestions. Um, once you use a convection oven for sublimation, you can no longer use it for food. It is the top, the gases are toxic that come off from the inks and stuff. So just keep that in mind. Once you use it for sublimation, it needs to strictly be for sublimation or crafts. Um, and another thing is I like to use this um, thermometer. I'm using a, a heat glove because it's really hot. I had it in there, but um, this is just a stand free thermometer that's made for like your kitchen oven. And I like to stick it in there um, to give me a more accurate reading of the temperature because you will, your temperature will fluctuate when you open and close your door. So keep that in mind and I will drop the link to this one that I got off Amazon in the comments below. Okay, now that our oven is heated up, I like to stay between 380 and 400 degrees. I'm gonna put my tumbler in there. It doesn't matter if you set it upright or upside down. I've done both and it hasn't made a difference in my outcome. Um, so between 380 to 400 degrees, I'm going to put it in there for six minutes. I'm just going to set it in the middle in between those heat bars and close it. Try to be quick about that because like I said, opening and closing the store will fluctuate your heat. Tumblr has been in there for six minutes now. I'm going to grab my other glove and we're going to pull it out and immediately start peeling that shrink wrap off. You want to try to be quick with this part. Um, I like to stick my hand in that hole and just pull it down. That's why I leave room at the top. Your tumbler will be super hot, so be careful with that. Be mindful of that. And then you just want to peel that right off of there. I got a spot in my glove that is not protecting my hand. It is super hot. And so now we're going to pull this tape off and pull your transfer off. I'm going to take you guys over here where you can see how I do that. Okay, I'm just going to start peeling that tape off. Get it turned around here where you guys can see. I'm just going to peel that tape off as much as I can. Without burning my finger. And then start removing that transfer. If it sticks, that's okay. It'll come off with soap and water. See how it's wanting to stick up there at the top? You can just wash that off with soap and water. Um, don't use scissors or an X-Acto knife. You don't want to scratch your tumbler. Just be super careful because it is really hot. <laughs> I think I can get the edge right here. don't think it's gonna budge so just take some soap and water to wash that off and there you have a sublimated tumbler and I'll show you guys the final product